Good evening ladies and gentlemen, ZA Linux Dev here again with another tutorial slash review video and tonight I thought we would have a look at a product that I bought at its launch and um, the product that I'm talking about tonight is something that I think is majorly misunderstood or misinterpreted or even underestimated in certain circumstances because I find it to be super useful and I have in fact purchased three of these during my escapades of acquiring this and um, I find them like I said I find them to be extremely useful and the product in question is the original Samsung Dex. So there are two variants of this and in fact inside the Galaxy Note 9 which you also see lying on the table there is also a built-in Samsung Dex experience, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, so let's have a look at the original product here. So as you'll see, it's like a hockey puck shaped product. Um, let's open it up for you. That is, excuse the dust there, this, this product is a little bit old. Um, that is the USB-C type connector where our phone will be plugged in. And that is the only connection that we have from this thing to our phone and what that does then is it basically takes the signal from your phone and it transforms it inside here and it turns it into all these bunch of different signals and inputs outside so as you can see over here we have our uh, charging port let me just get that in focus there we have our charging port it's a USB type C charging port and this DeX does not work without a Samsung Quick Charger. You need to have a proper Samsung Quick Charger because it does require some power of its own to function. That is something to take into account. Then we have our HDMI out port over here. And over here we have our Ethernet port. I think this is a 10100 Ethernet port. I don't think they support gigabit Ethernet yet. Uh, and then of course we have two USB type C's here. And um, yeah, that's basically that's basically the DEX itself. So let me show you what it, what it does and how it works. Oh, by the way, also inside of this little circular pot here is a cooling fan. That's why we have these fins on the side or on the rim and the perimeter of that puck. Um, so if the phone gets too hot, it will cool itself down using the fan. So let me show you how this works. Um, I'm going to plug it in. So please just bear with me, I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I have plugged in the decks. I have added power, HDMI, and then a regular USB keyboard. Um, for a mouse, I'm going to be using um, this little device, which is a, US, a Microsoft Bluetooth uh, Sculpt mouse. So I've connected the mouse via Bluetooth to the Samsung note 9 and um yeah let me show you how easy it to set, is to set this up to get it going basically all you need to do is you need to you don't even need to unlock your phone but um, if you do you can start working right away um, and then it's as simple as sliding it in into the usb-c port and you'll see that it does that little animation and it says hdmi connected and now we are ready to rock and roll with the decks and I must say that my experience with the Note 9 is a lot better than what it used to be with the Galaxy S8. The Galaxy S8, once you plugged it in, it took a little while to start up um, the DeX, but the Galaxy Note 9 is almost instant. Let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to move the camera up a little bit so you can see the, the screen that I'm running on right now. And I'm going to get it back in focus. Okay. So just, let me just show you how quick it is. I'm going to pick up the decks because unfortunately I can't get everything in frame here. Um, I still need to purchase some cameras and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to unplug the phone. This is how seamless it is. Unplug the phone, walk away. Nothing, nothing special. It just says that open apps may close. Save your data before starting Samsung decks. Um, just check how quick it is when, when you plug it in. It's extremely quick with the Galaxy Note 9. I'm super impressed with this device. Um, I might do a review on this as well at some stage, by the way. And look at how quick it is. I'm going to drop it in now. There we go. It's connected. 
it's saying Samsung DeX, bam, we're in. No more waiting for a minute for this thing to initialize before we can start using it. And what's also nifty about the Galaxy Note 9 functionality is that we can use this phone of ours as a touchpad. So I can control the mouse, if you have a look at the back on the screen there, using my phone if I want to. Um, I don't have to do that though. I obviously have a Bluetooth mouse plugged in, so I'll just use the Bluetooth mouse. Um, another feature that we have is we can switch to screen mirroring and that just mirrors our Android right now, which is a workaround that I've been using lately for my Netflix because Netflix, unfortunately, doesn't work in DeX 100%. Um, I don't know when they're going to decide to update their app to work properly using Samsung DeX, but for now, this is a workaround. So if I play a movie and I'm in screen mirroring mode, it automatically goes full screen, which is pretty cool because, I mean, that's how you watch a movie, right? Um, so unfortunately, uh, I mean, I can, go and, I can go and say that this is Netflix's fault. They need to update their application, and they do, but that is also one of the downsides of this device is that um, developers need to update their applications to utilize it to its fullest degree. Um, let me show you what Netflix looks like when I just straight up run it on the DeX. It just opens up this little window, and it's uh, basically going to say, oh, uh, Netflix... It looks like it's a phone screen that's just being displayed in a little window on your desktop. However, where this product shines is... Um, so, watching video on YouTube. It's pretty cool because the YouTube app seems to be optimized for the Samsung DeX. And you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. Um, I just need to set up my audio so it uh, plays to the correct audio source so that you guys can hear what it sounds like as well. So how you would do that is you click on the little arrow here at the bottom and you click on the speaker icon and you say, well, whatever audio source you want to use. If your audio source, if your screen does support audio, then you can just say display device. Otherwise, you'll have to go click my phone. So let's see, let's watch a video here and you'll hear the audio as well. It's pretty decent. It doesn't have any problems. So it's quite an enjoyable experience. Let's watch um, front page tech. Did Yo, Samsung do what Apple Get couldn't? Your dicks out because I got some bad news. It apparently has some bad news. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is completely usable, and um, I mean, if you want to minimize the video, you can, and you can close it up. Uh, you can scroll, or you can drag. You can refresh by dragging like just like you would on the regular mobile phone. I can go here and I can change my theme and I can go and do change my settings and all the different very various things that you can do just like with a regular YouTube app. It's just a little bit more optimized for desktop use. It kind of looks like the website, doesn't it? Um, so I'm going to close that up. Another thing that's pretty awesome is uh, so at work we use, use Teams for communication. And I'm not going to show you too much about uh, what we what, what we discuss at work. But let's just say that, yeah, man, it's pretty awesome. It works. It works 100%. Also, the same with Slack. Slack is also natively optimized and it works 100%. Um, WhatsApp, obviously, is one of those applications that I enjoy the most. You can see you've got the full WhatsApp experience, but it's running on a desktop. So let's, uh, let's uh, send a... A WhatsApp message, maybe to to my wife. Let's just say, um, hello there. Please reply. And I type that using a regular USB keyboard, and we will see what it looks like when we receive a notification from my wife. Let's just make sure that I'm not on Do Not Disturb. Let's take that off. Yes. Cool. Then also Outlook. We've got Outlook and it's running on the full desktop experience. Uh, that, is, um, that is Outlook. Uh, you can open up a mail. You can read anything. Uh, you can also drag to mark as read and drag left to flag, just like you would in the regular Outlook application. We've also got access to our calendar over here. And um, that's pretty cool. 
uh, we've uh, well I mean it's it's pretty much it's outlet right so that's what you would expect um, we can also pin icons to the taskbar so when you have an open application let's say Firefox is open we can pin that to the taskbar by just right clicking and saying pin to taskbar so when I close the app it's going to remain there and we can um, just open up and launch it from the taskbar uh, speaking of which, um, another thing that I find a little annoying is that, let's say for instance I go to a website like takealot.com, I don't know why I'm in caps lock, sorry about that, screaming at the decks, it uh, loads up the mobile application and you can go ahead and you can set, hey, request the desktop site and it'll do that, but as soon as you click on a link or something, well, okay, now all of a sudden it's working. Maybe they updated the application, but it used to take me back to the mobile site, which I'm not sure why. But it's, it seems to be working now. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see, what else is there? Oh, also we, at our workplace, we use, um, we use a third-party uh, VPN so I can dial into my workplace and I can work remotely which is something that's pretty awesome. I don't need to have a laptop to um, actually be able to access my, my desktop at work. So I can plug in my phone into my desk and I can start working. I don't have to have this huge laptop or desktop PC to do this. Um, we can also read some news on Flipboard. Unfortunately, Flipboard's also not 100% optimized. It does look a little good. It, it looks a little better than it would on the mobile phone in some instances. The only thing is that we need to um, manually drag over from the right to the left. The scroll button doesn't seem to be working, so I hope they fix that up soon. But it's it's a pretty cool experience. I thoroughly enjoy it. I thoroughly enjoy using this device. I think I've said that enough now. Um, let's see, what else is there? So I think that's about it, guys. Uh, let me just, uh, oh yeah unpin the shortcut from the taskbar. So there's one more thing that I want to show you guys. This is the task manager. And this is where you would go about, you know, closing all your applications, just like in regular Android. And that closes up all the, all the applications that you have open on your phone. Um, and something else that's quite interesting is if you have an application open and it's open on your mobile phone itself, uh, we just got an, a, a notification from DistroTube on Discord. That's pretty cool. Shout out to Derek at DistroTube. Um, if you have an application open on your mobile phone, let's uh, open up WhatsApp. Okay, it's open on my mobile and I go back to the DEX implementation of it and I open it up. It's going to, oh well, it doesn't do that now, but uh, it usually says, hey, this thing is open on your phone. You need to restart it in DEX mode, um, which is not a train smash. It does work and it's awesome. Um, something that I would recommend you do uh, is if you want to um, have the best experience possible, I would recommend you grab yourself a, a Bluetooth headset and a Bluetooth mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard. You can connect all three of those at the same time and use the decks and it's, it's, it's a breeze. You have your basically you have your little mobile computer. And the reason why I made this video in fact is before I do that though, let's show you one last thing. I want to show you one last thing. Let's open up a game. So I have your Vainglory, which is one of the optimized for DEX games. And um, graphically, this thing is amazing. I want to show you what that looks like. So I'm just connecting. You guys can hear the audio is supreme. Ah, I have some free chests. How cool is that? Let's open them up. Some glory. Some more glory. Oh, you can use that, so why not? Let's uh, do a quick uh, play against some solo bots. I'm not going to be too concerned because I'm not going to finish the game. I just want to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, let's say play as Taka, default skin. Uh, let's do that. Yes. So we are ready to rock. Some of the textures, 
And sprites look a little low res. That's because they were designed for a mobile phone. Um, but I mean, it's it's not a train smash. And that's uh, Vainglory running on the Samsung Dex, and it's running 100%, no problem. I can. Uh, so one thing that I picked up is that not all keyboards work 100% with shortcuts. But yeah, it's completely playable. Um, I do have a keyboard that does support the shortcuts 100%. It's the Kinex. I don't remember the model of the keyboard. But yeah, it does work. And uh, so that's it. Um, something else that is also pretty cool is if you have a DeX and you have a, uh, a Bluetooth uh, game controller, um, you basically got yourself a free little... I wouldn't say Xbox 360, I would say Xbox 360-like console because the graphics are comparable to an Xbox 360. Um, the games aren't always, but hey man, that's, that's Android, what do you expect? It's running on a mobile phone. It's pretty impressive. Um, okay, so let's see. Why did I make this video? Let me just switch back to my face here. So why did I make this video? Why did I decide to cover this device particularly tonight? Um, well, I went online and I had a look at uh, some sources and I tried to determine whether the Note 9 would be compatible with the Samsung Galaxy DeX, the original one, because there's been quite a few revisions of this um, this product. Uh, initially, it was this hockey puck design, which is the one that I have three of. And I mean, I don't want to keep uh, investing, you know, uh, $100 to $150 for every generation of these, especially three of them. That's going to get a bit of an expensive uh, endeavor so uh, i decided to make my own little review regarding this product because i wasn't sure if it was compatible basically and um well i took a gamble and i got the note 9 and wow it's it's blown me away ever since i mean i'm using this thing for my communications at work i have a little screen there where i just plug in my phone into my decks at work and i do my mails i can do skype calls i can do my teams i can do whatsapp um all that stuff I can do at work uh, without using my main PC and it's 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 quite cool but yeah I was I wasn't sure whether it would work and well it's working so kudos to Samsung I thought it might not because the Galaxy Note 9 actually does come with a um, with a USB-C to HDMI adapter and those are there are many reviews regarding this this product um, but the thing is the USB-C to HDMI adapter, even though it'll work with the Note 9, you cannot charge your device while you're using it, which means that while you're using this device as a Samsung DeX device, your phone is continuously draining its battery. Whereas with with the hockey puck, with uh, with the hockey puck uh, implementation, um, it basically it charges your phone. It charges your phone while you are using it. So you, you'll notice up top there, well, not up top. Hmm, let's see, if I lock it up, I'm not sure how I can show you guys this, but it is charging the device. I mean, yeah, you can see in the top right hand corner there, it says that it's at a hundred percent. So it's charging the device while I'm using it. And that's pretty useful. I mean, it means that I won't run out of juice while I'm using this device. So I can use it all day long. Um, something else that I forgot to mention to you guys, which is probably also worth worth uh, showing you, is the following. Let me just get this screen back in the frame. So I have here a little USB device, a USB 3 32 gigabyte Transcend stick. And if I plug it in, have a look at the bottom right hand corner. Have a look at the bottom right hand corner. Um, you see it popped up a little notification there that says jet flash usb drive so i can also do um, copy files from my device straight onto a usb drive i can access this usb drive straight from um, dex and uh, i can copy files which is actually also pretty awesome um, let me show you this is what files looks like so it's one of the dex optimized apps and there my wife at long last she responded to my whatsapp message that i sent her so that's what a notification looks like um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this review i hope that somebody out there found it useful and um 
I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I think I said that already. So I'm going to stop rambling now. Um, before I go away though, if you like this video, please remember to like the video. And then also remember to subscribe and remember to click the bell icon if you want to see more stuff like this coming from me. I am going to be covering some software development stuff. I'm going to be covering some reviews, some technical stuff. I'll maybe cover some Linux news in future. Anyway, guys, this is ZA Linux Dev signing out. Have a good day.